morning YouTube and welcome back to Everything RV with Dave. Uh, it's an awfully cold day today, uh, but I'm getting ready to uh, take a little trip, probably for a month or two, and I got to thinking about a project that I wanted to do as cheaply as possible and still end up with a very nice product. What this project actually is, is trying to make a uh, generator slide uh, for my RV so I don't have to continue to pick up the generator and slide it into the hole. Let me show you on this side what I'm talking about. I have a little bit of a lip here. It's about two inches. So when I put the generator in, I have to pick it up and slide it up over top of that lip. And that's fine, I can do that, but it's, it's becoming harder and harder to do. So on this next trip that we're taking, I think I'm going to be doing a little bit more boondocking, so I'm going to be using my generator a little bit more. I purchased one 8-foot 2x8, and I purchased one 8-foot 2x4. I also purchased two drawer slides from Lowe's, and the slides that I used on that are... Uh, 100 pound slides and surprisingly they were only $20. I did have to buy some screws but the total cost of everything that I bought was about $37. So here's the uh, slides in attached inside the uh, box that I built out of the 2x8s and uh, the total length with the extension is 48 inches so they're 24 inch slides which go out to uh, 48 inches and that's what I needed these were the largest slides that, that Lowe's had as far as length that I could find make sure that everything's square and uh, you know this worked very nicely for me so here's what it looks like installed inside the, the front cargo area and if you take a look, I have just screwed it down with four brackets and it seems to be very, very strong. It's surely going to hold the 50 pounds that my generator weighs. Now, when you're building this, and again, it's not a step-by-step, -step, you have to make sure that you're 2x4s, 2x6s, 2x8s, whatever you use, are square. And you have to make sure that your slides are at equal height and, you know, forward and backwards. Make sure that everything is level so that when you're sliding it in and out, there's nothing that'll, that'll hold it. So, you know, those are the important things. But so far, it, I really like the way it's, uh, it's coming around. So there it is completed. I uh, have my Predator 2000 watt generator sitting on it. It's very, very stable. Uh, it's, uh, it's about two feet from the edge of the RV. Uh, I'm going to try to run it like that. Uh, I might have to put a uh, extension on the exhaust plate. And it slides in and out in and out without too much of uh, effort and I did put a little lock here that I can lock it in place later tray and I really do like it I really think it'll uh, give me a nice service so if you've liked this video please hit the like and please hit the subscribe and I hope this helps somebody in in trying to understand what they might be able to do with making a slide for your generator. 